Alright, so this just happened. Look, so talk show host Wendy Williams got her start in the late 80s working in radio. After commuting from Queens, New York to Washington, D.C. for a job at WQHT, she ultimately landed a gig at WRKS, now WEPN-FM in New York City, as a substitute disc jockey. Her career exploded from there, and soon, she was rubbing shoulders, among other things, <laughs> with some of the hip-hop's elite. During a conversation with DJ Sus1, Wendy Williams, who has built a wobbly reputation on salacious gossip and outlandish hot takes, recalled having a one-night stand with Wu-Tang Clan legend Method Man. The only thing I did, I, I smoked a blunt with Red Man, excuse me, with Method Man, um, um, while I gave him a bath and it was a one-night stand. And, what? And, and he'll deny it, maybe not, you know. That wasn't in the movie. I. It wasn't in the movie. <laughs> it wasn't in the movie because Red Man, or uh, excuse me, Method Man is still very angry at me. But what? Um, for, I don't know, for, for being me, for telling the truth. It was one night we were in the club, a fight broke out and gunshots broke out. The, the, the fight was ridiculous. The whole Wu-Tang was there, but it was only meth up in the rafters. And see, that's where I go to observe everything because I was by myself. And he's like, yo, Wendy, because he'd been on the show before and he was effed up. And I smelled the weed and, and I had weed, but he had better, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't roll blunts, I rolled joints because I was never really a blunt roller and they're sloppy. Um, he rolled the blunt, we smoked a blunt, we watched the fight, we heard the gunshots, the cops came in. He was he was rolling with, uh, you know, the car from Staten Island with the whole clan and their people. And I, I said to him, I guess I batted my eyes and, you know, rocked my shoulders, you know how you do. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. And I said, um, I said, you know, you want to come over? And he said, yeah, I'll follow you. And I said, give me your hand. And I grabbed his hand and and he, he put his head down and I put my head down and people didn't even realize at the time it was Wendy and one of the biggest stars, the lead of, of the leader of the biggest group in the world mm -hmm. just left, got in her Pathfinder and went back to her penthouse in Jersey wow. City where she bathed him in her jacuzzi tub. Wow. And and smoked more um, weed. You know, that was back in the Coke days. I don't remember what he did. I'm not going to implicate him on that. Um, um, I did give I don't him know if I'm asking too much, but, you know, was it, did you guys go all the way? Yes. Met the man and Wendy Williams have beef stretched back to at least 2006 when Williams reportedly disclosed some private information about his wife's battle with cancer. She also reported unfounded rumors that Method Man had been having an affair with his wife's doctor. Wendy Williams gets on the air and said, Method Man, his wife is sick and she's not doing too well. And I'm like, this man he said according to a 2006 all hip-hop article this is the big c big c for cancer and i was ready i was so mad i was crying right there and i'm like i'm gonna kill some buddy and these wu-tang friends kept me in there kept me in la she said me and the doctor was what kind of shit is that man you don't do that to nobody you say the fuck you want to say about me say nothing about my family man the full interview with dj sus one is expected to drop on thursday january 28th until then we got these few little clips but yeah what do you guys think do you really believe wendy williams that she had a one night stand with met the man let us know your thoughts in the comment section below hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos and as always make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com